Hi everyone, welcome back. This is Mandy and I'm going to do a little bloom on this uh, 10 inch round canvas and I'm using the bloom recipe. So this is my Glidden Premium in eggshell and I do have a tutorial listed below of all the ingredients that I use if that helps anyone. And I had an idea so I was just kind of going with the flow. I'm going to show you the colors as I go because I was deciding as I went. So popping a couple bubbles um, and I did speed this up a little bit just because um, I had to do a voiceover anyway. So this is cadmium yellow medium from Matisse. Um, I love this color and I, it always pops really nicely in blooms. Um, there was a bunch of bubbles in this color because I had just recently mixed up um, or stirred up an old batch of color. And you can see I'm trying to pop those bubbles by kind of gently dropping the canvas down on the turner. And um, I will say that I would like to try these colors again. I end up using a little bit of white right underneath the cell activator. Um, and my white was a little thin. Um, the, the reason I like to do that sometimes under a black cell activator is the white creates this really cool outline around your color and just gives some definition to your cells. So it looks really neat sometimes. It's sort of like the effect that you would get if you use a dual cell activator only the effect is a little a little bit different and a little bit more pronounced um, but i really like the drama of the yellow against a black cell activator so you'll see in the close-up kind of what i mean but um, i would like to try these colors again um, without the white um, and just to see what the difference is it's funny how you can use a very similar color palette and have a different result um, so it's kind of neat to experiment sometimes so this is another reason why I sped this up and decided to do a voiceover because I spent a great deal of time having to pop these stupid bubbles. So bear with me here while we move on to the next color. Um, I am using quite a few of the new prison pour colors. Um, don't forget there is a discount code in the description box below for color art where you can save 20% off of anything on the website, um, including the new prison pour colors. There's also um, two primary element sets that I'll be covering with you guys that are out for a limited time. So I'm going to go over the colors once I get them in a future video. So keep in mind that those are available. So this is Thalo Green. Um, that's Atelier Free Flow. And the other day I was like, why don't I use Thalo Green more? I love the color. And so now I've been trying to put it in everything. So um, that's Evergreen. This is a prism pour color. And I wanted to add that to kind of create, um, it's always nice when you do blooms, a good rule of thumb is to do a light color, dark color, light color, dark color. Can't always do that, but it creates some interest in your piece, but that's kind of why I thought that would look neat there. And that is African Violet. That's a prism pour color from Color Art. And the amount of color and sparkle when you look at it up close is really amazing. And I love the way it looks with these colors. Uh, next up, I can't remember, so I'm waiting to bring it out. It's like the element of surprise for me too. More bubbles. And um, the cell activator I'm gonna use is the Gram Lamp Black, in case I forget to tell you when we get closer to that part. And uh, I do have a discount code uh, for Australian Flow Trial below as well. This is Royal Sapphire, which is a prism pour color. And the discount for Australian Flow Trial is for Pixel Paint Designs. It's Mandy 10, so you can save 10% off. I also um, buy my Boom Gels from there. And this is Peacock, which is another prism pour color. It's kind of got a phthalo green tint to it. It's really pretty. All right, so let's see here. 
I decided to use the tiny bit of cad yellow I had left in my container toward the top. So if I were to do this again, I probably would do the yellow and the cobalt turquoise light like this and omit the little bit of white. I also did use a little bit of pearlescent teal boom gel right underneath the cell activator because sometimes if you use boom gel right underneath the cell activator, um, you get some pretty cool results when you blow it out. Um, so don't forget my discount codes for color art and pixel paint designs are both below. Uh, pixel paint is where I get the boom gels and of course all the other sparkly beautiful pigments and paints I get from color art and I'm gonna use the black cell activator in case I haven't mentioned it yet it's the lamp black from M Graham and I get that on Blick and I also have a link for Blick below in the description box if you shop through our link of course it helps our channel I think that I had thought about using a white and black cell activator and then I changed my mind to just use black. Otherwise I'm not sure why I showed you the white right there. So I am using my Babyliss hair dryer, so pardon my head, I'm just increasing the target size a little bit. It makes it a little bit easier for me to blow it out. But you can see how reactive that cell activator is, it starts to sell up before you even really blow it out very much. I really need to work on blowing things out myself. I'm not great at that. And I'd like to be so I could have the choice between using a, a blower and using my own lungs. So I'm trying to, pardon my head again, trying to stretch that part out a little bit that I didn't do a great job blowing out with my hair dryer. Because if I were to go over it again with my hair dryer at this point, it would mess up the cells toward the middle and potentially just go right into the pillow right there. So you can see even blowing that out myself, I did kind of a crappy job, but that's okay. Some of it's going to spin off. So at this point, I'm thinking, ooh, I don't know if this blowout's going to get it done. I don't know if it's going to be spread out enough to work. But thankfully, in this instance, it was sort of good that I used too much pillow paint because um, as we spin it, you'll see um, that it actually turns out really nicely. The bummer is, see where I'm poking the bubbles out toward the outer edge? Those cells, to me, are some of the prettiest. And when you use too much cell, I mean too much pillow paint, you lose those as you spin things out. So that's you know kind of a bummer. But, you know, it takes time to find the right balance between too much pillow paint and not enough. And in this case, um, using too much helped a little bit because it helped stretch that design to the edge um, to offset where I didn't do a good job blowing it out. But that's one of the reasons I want to learn to blow them out myself because... Um, then you have a little bit more control over how you blow it out um, once you get good at it, which takes some time. So just pop in a couple bubbles and then we'll spin it out. There was a lot of bubbles in that yellow paint because I had stirred it up after it had been mixed up for a while. I really like these um, little round canvases from Frederick's. I get them at Blick and they're just... Um, they're not the deep edge, they're like five eighths inch edge, but they're, they're really great little round canvases and they seem pretty easy to resin and all of that. So I'm at this point, I'm just enhancing a couple of places, um, with a skewer where I didn't blow it out very well. And that's mostly just to give it a chance if. It doesn't go all the way to the edge to have some composition there, but it ends up going over the edge. So everything I'm doing right now 
is kind of a waste of time. But at the time, I didn't know it. So you can kind of see in the middle where the white cells are or the white around the cells are um, what I was going for when I added the white. Added a little bit too much and it was a little too thin. But at this point, I was pretty excited um, because when I spun it out, I was like, oh, wow, that looks better than I anticipated. So I'll bring you in for a close-up in just a moment. I'm just making sure we have enough paint off. Um, so at this point, I'm just kind of wiggling the spinner to see if anything moves back and forth when I wiggle it. And then I'm just spinning enough paint off to make sure it doesn't crack. So some of those really cool cells stayed near the outer edge, but we lost a lot of them, unfortunately. So I'm just popping some bubbles and checking to make sure we have enough paint off. And uh, again, I'm just gently blowing those bubbles out. Here comes our close-up. All right, everybody, here's our close-up, and I just really love these colors together. I think, I do like the white, but I think I would like to do it again and omit the white. I do like having the yellow at the top, and I like the drama of the yellow next to the black. Um, and the white mutes it a little bit, which I'm okay with because I love the little white outline of the cells. Um, but I really like the way this turned out. It wasn't the, the greatest blowout, so I was really nervous that it was going to be kind of crazy, but I think it's pretty. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.